I'm completely convinced, uh, uh, as is the university leadership, that diversity, enhancing diversity is absolutely essential for academic excellence. L last year when we set about doing the hires, we instituted a bunch of special uh, best practices that we got from all over the country uh, and, and uh, put those in motion. We actually had a more successful year in enhancing diversity last year than the previous five years almost put together. Um, and, and so something like 40 plus percent of our faculty that were hired last year would honestly be uh, in this category of having contributed to diversity. So uh, this year, I mean, I strongly believe that this has to come from the faculty and not from the top. And so we've taken those best practices and told the faculty that we want all searches uh, in the next three years to focus on these best practices. And I fully hope and expect that we will have a, uh, an enrichment of diversity on the campus. So we've thrown our energy into, into <coughs> interacting with high schools in the, in the San Diego area and Los Angeles area to make sure we have a welcoming environment, um, have some summer programs, three-week residential programs. So um, students with a great, uh, from a whole diverse range of communities can come here, see what we do, see if this is the right thing for them. Uh, hopefully we send them home with a positive experience and some learning about uh, the opportunities of going to college. Um, and so my definition of success is, is not just to have, you know, in a few years a, a more diverse UCSD faculty, but sure, yeah. surely we need that. But I hope in, in five or ten years, other schools around the country are hiring students that uh, got their inspiration from our summer programs. So the first thing is we, uh, we charge every search committee formally about the expectations for diversity. They have to look at underrepresented minority um, applicants and have to explain why one wasn't advanced. Mm -hmm. so, so they have to, they actually have to go through a mm -hmm. formal process to do it, which is new for us. Mm -hmm. Second is, what, what, what Tony said, is that we try to recognize students and fellows and residents who are outstanding and, and groom them for faculty. Because, right. you know, mm -hmm. if, if we can get some great students here and then we can recognize them and take care of them, mm -hmm. we, even if they don't stay with us, they'll become faculty, right. so, they'll become faculty somewhere else. And I think that's, that's really important. Thirdly, which I think is, it, it, we did it more in the East, but we're trying to do it here. We're trying to get senior leaders at UCSD to have strong relationships with um, traditional um, minority universities, uh, most in the back mm -hmm. east, like Howard right, Mahaney. Yeah, right. So yeah. my chairman of um, pediatrics has a very strong relationship with um, uh, with Howard, and, and they always send students and fellows to work for him, and some of them stay and become faculty. Mm -hmm. And I think we can nurture that. I think that's, that's a really right. strong relationship. And the fourth thing is we can develop areas that will be more um, conducive toward um, um, recruiting underrepresented minority faculty and increasing diversity.